Hello everybody, my name is Dmitry Sinditsky, and in this short video I'm gonna show you how to make the easiest blueprint for the cinematic background. We will make spinning crane with cargo on it which goes up and down, using free Mission to Minera Kid Bash pack. Kid Bash announced a 3D challenge which allows you to take their awesome sci-fi pack. It's free and full of different buildings for a settlement in far far galaxy. Go to their official website and choose Unreal, render engine native and I take the 4K resolution. After you downloaded it, unpack and start the project. I'm gonna use the 5.0 version of the engine. After you launch the project, go to the Mission to Minerva folder, actors and find a lot of pre-made blueprints. We need a crane. Drag it to the level to make sure this is what we need. Create a new folder for your custom blueprint. Take Kitbush Crane Blueprint and choose Copy Here option. Rename your copied blueprint and double-click it. First we set up a hierarchy. Choose the base mesh, drag it to the top and add a scene. Name your new scene Rotate. Choose all meshes which spin and drag and drop them into the scene Rotate. Create one more scene for meshes which are gonna move up and down. Now we position our crane to the center of the base. Select all meshes and using Pivot bring them to the center. To make things easier, you can choose a view from left or front. Compile and save. Check if the rotation is correct. Open Event Graph tab. We will use Event Begin Play and Event Tick Notes. Create new variable. Call it Target Angle. Make it float. Press Alt on your keyboard and drag Target Angle variable to the graph so you set it. Connect it to the Event Begin Play node. Drag a pin and add float and range node. Type minus 64 min and 64 max. Compile and save. From node event tick, drag pin delta seconds and make variable delta seconds. Drag to the graph scene actor rotating pole. Add node get relative rotation. Compile and save. Right click button on relative rotation and split struct pin. Add node nearly equal flow, press Ctrl and drag the pin to the B, press Ctrl and add node target angle to the A, error tolerance is 0.5. From return value, add node not boolean, press B on your keyboard and click left mouse button to add branch and connect the branch to the set. From true and false, later we will add two custom events. So we need to create these custom events. Right mouse button T dot add a new custom event and call this custom event rotate. The second custom event we are gonna use call lift cargo. From rotate custom event, create node set relative rotation for actor rotating pole. Drag pin the new rotation, copy node rotating pole and add get relative rotation node. And split struct pin for get rotation node. We are not gonna rotate x and y axes, so we put them into the relative rotation without any changes. We need a variable target angle plus float, press Ctrl on your keyboard and drag the pin and to the up pin relative rotation Z. From target angle add node apps and add map range clamped. Drag to the graph delta seconds variable and add f interrupt to node. Delta seconds goes to the delta time plus float goes to the target. Current is our relative rotation Z and we add range to the node map range clamped. Return value goes to the interrupt speed. And the last return value goes to the new rotation Z. Let's clean up a little bit. We select nodes and press Q to line them up. The part of the blueprint for rotation is ready. Now we add our newly created custom event to the true pin of the main branch. Compile and save. Go back to the level, put our newly created blueprint to the map and let's check. As you can see our crane goes round. This is what we need. Now let's skip to the lift cargo custom event. Create a new variable and let's call it lift and finish. This variable is gonna be boolean. Compile and save and press tick on lift and finished in the details pad. With press control we drag lift and finish to the event graph. Press B left mouse button. We add branch. Press alt and set lift and finish. Connect everything. Add a new timeline and call it lifting. 
press Ctrl and move it to the play from start. Double click your timeline and add a new track and call it moving. Scroll away to see the full graph. The length is gonna be 6.5 seconds. Press Shift and left click on the timeline to add new keys. The middle key will have value of 1. Select the keys and press 1 on your keyboard to make them smooth. Go back to the event graph. From update get the set relative location node for the scene actor lift. From the moving output take map range clamped node. Here we put 0, 1. Now we go back to the viewport and let's check the position of our cargo. My value is 1777 and our range B we fill with the down position of our cargo. Split struct pin the new location and our return value goes to the new Z location. Duplicate lifts node, get relative location and split struct pin the relative location. X and Y location stays the same and we make the delay for finished output from our timeline. The delay is gonna be 1.5 seconds. Set lift finished node, press tick here, duplicate the set target angle from event begin play, compile and save. And let's put lifting cargo to the false branch of our main logic. Compile and save. Let's go back to the level and check. As we can see our cargo snapping in the wrong position. Let's try to fix it. In the viewport we have to put the scene actor lifts to the right position. We put the scene actor lifts on the point from where we want our cargo go down. After this we uh, set the location of moving parts to zero. Compile, save and let's check it again. Ok, our cargo doesn't go down this time. Let's check the issue. Somehow our custom event lifting was deleted. So let's put it back again. Lift cargo here. Compile save and let's check. So the crane goes round and the cargo goes down. That's nice, this is what we need. In our event graph we can put different speed right here. Now it's from 1 to 2. Let's make it from 2 to 3. So it goes round, it goes down and it goes round a little bit faster. Our degrees are random, so it can make full spin or make series of short spins. We can also add some additional meshes to our blueprint. So we choose here our clamps, we put their position as we need. We press the search button here and Unreal sends us to the geometries. We try to find the cargo itself. We select it. Now if we go back to our blueprint and press add button. Near the static mesh in the brackets we can see the name of the selected mesh. We put it into the correct position and scale as we need. We press the log button here, so we have equal scale on all three axes. Compile, save, go to the main level, save all, simulate and let's check. Ok, the crane spins and the cargo goes down. I don't like the fact that our crane goes too far when it goes down and hits the floor. Let's fix it. Go back to the blueprint and find map range clamped. Uh, here we put our range A and this is the up position. Out range B this is our down position. So let's make it something about 300. Let's imagine that we make some kind of a C port or sci-fi port. We duplicate our crane blueprints and make them of different size and scale. We have random values in rotating speed, so every blueprint acts individually. If we use such kind of a blueprint for background where we don't see ropes, uh, we have the feeling that our environment lives and all these spins they are random.